This thing on? Hey. How you doing? I'm not 100% y'all, but let's do this. Right. Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to, right, right, hit the subscribe button, right, right, and then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag die cousin gang, and you'll officially be my cousin. My fummy, my cousins that's been rocking with me, fummy, what's up, cause all you already know, baby. You already know how we get down. We are right? Welcome back. Back. Hey, back. Back. Hey. Welcome back, y'all. <clears throat> I'm not 100%, but I don't want to sit in the closet tonight. Well, today. And this is like a semi self care confessional closet confession but couch confession could we be on the couch we're gonna be on the couch um finally got strength back in my lungs where i can function i'm gonna tell y'all what happened what's been going on where i've been i got too much to say but <clears throat> y'all let's go put these flowers together real quick while i tell you where i've been Let's go. Yeah, babies. So, a lot has been going on these past couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> Y'all, at one point, I feel like I was about to die. Like, I don't know. Like, the blood of Jesus. This is also like a... semi self care type of thing um i wanted some fresh flowers because my flowers died from over the weeks <clears throat> so when i left the house today i treated myself to a hibachi lunch um see y'all they're dead time for new ones Sorry, I was thirsty. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, y'all. It's just the right one. Your girl has been going through these past couple of weeks with respiratory. <clears throat> and I was already, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was already um, struggling with <coughs> depression as well. Okay, and then having to be hospitalized three times for me was really like crazy because I had 
basically like two I had like two asthma attacks back to back <clears throat> and then in like in a week span and then when I finally decide to go back to the hospital they hit me with pneumonia <clears throat> And yes, they tried it. They tried to hit me with COVID, but my COVID test was coming back negative. And then they tried to put COVID because of the pneumonia. No, I have history of asthma. I had no other symptoms and all that other stuff. <clears throat> my chief complaint was, you know, getting better or whatever. <clears throat> so that third time, I was hospitalized for like two days, but <clears throat> I've been home resting. And if you watch the my daughter's fifth birthday, I really struggled that day because it was after that <clears throat> on her actual birthday. <clears throat> I um decided to go to the hospital. And then I, at first I didn't want to let them admit me, but I ended up letting them. And my daughter just had to be with her grandma. But, you know, I try not to put, you know, that's my too much responsibility, but I had to get better. Y'all. I had to get better, honey. So it was hard mentally, emotionally. You know, I just I just felt like all alone. And then because of this whole COVID thing, you know, I couldn't really have visitors. <clears throat> I couldn't be with my daughter. So it, it took it kind of took a toll on me. And even when I got out and came home, y'all. <clears throat> even when I got out and came home, I was scared to leave the house. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, <clears throat> I'm the let's ride, let's go, I be ready. But... I just feel like, you know, it's just something, you know, of course, God's way of also getting my attention to slow down because I've been go, 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 go mode. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I was doing these drive-by prayers and, you know, just being a busy body, but... Uh, you know, I also felt like it was God way of, like, getting my attention or whatnot. Because I already felt the whole shift coming along. Um, <clears throat> I had already felt the whole shifting of isolation and consecration, like, I had already been feeling that, so I felt like it was just a quicker way, <clears throat> you know, to get me there so that I can truly hear the voice of God with my assignment that <clears throat> I've been dragging my feet because I don't want to say running because I stopped running, but I was dragging my feet. Um... So, yeah, your girl been. Woo -woo. Hold on, y'all. I just want to get these flowers situated real quick. So, let's speed this up real quick. Now we got to get the scissors so I can cut the ends real quick, put water, and then we finna transition to the couch. Ooh. 
it's not as full as I want it to be, but it's all right. So I'm probably gonna get some more tomorrow. <clears throat> Come on, cousin. Let's head back to the couch. Turn off the light. Baby, I finally started taking these down. Trying to find a quick way to do it. But. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. See my little setup. So <clears throat> we definitely gonna get more. <clears throat> All right, sweetheart. <clears throat> but it's been a lot going on. Um. I got to a point I felt like I couldn't breathe. I was struggling real bad. Like, it, even if you look at the party, my daughter's party, <clears throat> you see that I was struggling. Y'all can hear me keep trying to get the phlegm up and stuff like that. I'm not 100%, but I'm way better than, you know, what I was before. But this transition of consecration and I feel isolated you know because even when I was going through you know being in and out of the hospital I, I was like I kind of still felt alone like yeah you know I got the calls I got the text messages I got the prayers and you know but you know physically having somebody there rubbing my back or <clears throat> whatever the case I, I was I was for the most part you know alone and I had already been sensing that um, a couple of months ago. <clears throat> and I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right. So, you know, um, got to start dragging my feet. So, since I've been, you know, home resting and stuff like that, you know, been getting back into the prayer, getting back into the reading. Um, meditating even you know meditating you know on the word of God and you know just rebuilding that connection with God but <clears throat> at the same time even going through all of that I'm hurting I'm hurt um try not to cry now but you know y'all I, I, I literally had to fight to do something with myself so that I didn't stay in that that depression and stuff like that. Like I said earlier, I went to Hibachi um, by myself. I had a nice conversation with two young ladies there or whatever. And then um, I promised my daughter ice cream, so I ended up picking her up early from school. <coughs> and then I took her got her ice cream and stuff and then I took her to her dad's house and now I'm just chilling on the couch and <clears throat> since everything happened it just showed me like where am I really taking care of myself and you know all that busyness what was accomplished we cannot um conclude or you know say you know put busyness and then with productivity because you can be busy and not be productive and I feel like that's where I'm at like I was busy but I wasn't productive um <clears throat> like I wasn't promoting shirt sales I wasn't posting on you know YouTube you know, cuzzles. Y'all seen I've been MIA. I barely was posting on social media. I was more so lurking. <clears throat> but you know, I wasn't doing. I stopped dropping encouragement videos. Like, I started doing a lot. So, now I'm just like, okay. 
gotta get back on track and I gotta focus on Elda. So that's where I've been y'all, in and out of depression. Um, not wanting to be, do anything. I didn't want to deal with anything that had to come, to, to, anything that had to deal with me, I didn't want to deal with it. I just did it. And uh, now I'm at a place that's like, I can't be that way because I don't clock into nobody's job. Okay, so I need y'all to help me get to a thousand subscribers. We're almost, we're halfway there. But I don't clock into nobody's job. So I have to be consistent. I have to be determined. I have to stay hungry. I have to stay focused. I have to stay aware. I have to stay alert. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I have to be balanced. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I have to be balanced. I have to be in tune. Because I have a daughter. I have myself. I have my daughter. And if I'm not okay, she not okay. Because I'm her primary caregiver. You know what I'm saying? And she's watching me. What example am I setting? You know what I'm saying? I'm just so glad my house is clean, y'all. Because I don't think y'all understand. Like, I couldn't even clean. I could not even clean. Um, thank God one of my sisters, you know, has a house cleaning business. And I had to pay her. Which is something I thought I would never do. But I had to pay her to, you know, kind of clean up for me and tidy up. Because at one point I, I couldn't. <coughs> and then I invested in these sheets. Um, 800, 800 thread count. Oh, when I said I slept so peaceful last night. Because I finally decided to sleep on the bed last night. I've been sleeping on the couch. I have this thing when I'm not feeling well, when I'm sick and stuff, I want to sleep on the couch because that's where I'm most comfortable. But when I got the fresh sheets with the 800 thread count, y'all, I was like, baby, listen, invest in your home. That is your comfort place. Invest in your home. So, <clears throat> Um, so yeah, dealing with that. So, you know, y'all know I'm very big on encouragement, inspiration and stuff like that. You're always going to get that, but I'm definitely going to be going back to, um, the, I used to go live Thursday nights on, um, Facebook. Um, I'm asking, you know, I'm just waiting for God to give me the clearance on how he want me to go back and do that. And then. Um, I'll definitely be doing the prayer lives, um, prayer and, <clears throat> you know, on Instagram. So if you're not following me on social media, make sure you are because we're definitely coming back to that. But I definitely did get a deep revelation with everything that has taken place within me within these past couple of weeks with my respiratory, um, you know, um, because even though I'm alive, even though I'm moving, even though, you know, <clears throat> you know, all these things, I still was having trouble breathing. And the revelation that I got from it is that the body of God is still moving, but it's lifeless. It's lifeless. When you look at the valley of the dry bones, you know, it was sinu upon sinu and the army stood when when ezekiel spoke for these things to come back but he did what he was supposed to do but the soldiers could not move until god breathed until god released his breath into um and back into that army and that's what god is truly wanting to do back in the body of you know in the body is to release his breath so that we can truly catapult forward um, <clears throat> because a lot of people may feel like their deliverance is stagnated or their breakthrough is stagnated. Their increase is stagnated. Um, you know, it's just like, 
it, it, it's like a trickle because when the body does not have oxygen <clears throat> it begins to lag it begins to malfunction um you might experience headaches um you know because of the lack of oxygen you begin to experience different things because there is not enough oxygen pumping through the body and <clears throat> so god is really wanting to release his breath um, and I, and I strongly believe that's what, you know, because, you know, God deals with everybody, how they deal with him, uh, how, you know, how he deals with them. And I know how he deals with me. And right now I just strongly feel that he wants to release his breath so that his people can truly live so that his truly, his people, his people could truly live. But we're so consumed, um, we're so consumed on the malfunctions and, we, we're missing it we're, we're just missing it and <clears throat> and the dreams that has been coming along with you know everything I'm just like what I'm just like okay God give me the understanding give me the revelation give me the insight give me the foresight and give me <clears throat> the speech to articulate what it is that you want to say because y'all know me i don't want to speak thus says the lord out of flesh if i speak it's god speaking because god is very precise with his words god is very um you know precise with his instructions and i'm not going to be playing with people's lives <clears throat> i'm one of those prophets but um but i'm just you know excited even though i may not even though i still feel the way that i feel I'm just still excited <clears throat> on what God is doing. I'm going to embrace everything, even though it hurts, even though it's lonely, even though I'm healing at the same time. But <laughs> the streets are calling my name. But um, <laughs> let me not be petty. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to embrace it because at the end of the day, I know the plans that God has. And you know i'm just i just want to be obedient and i no longer want to stay in this stagnant place <laughs> so keep your cousin lifted baby keep your cousin lifted so but i'm just going to be chilling on the couch and um <clears throat> yeah my home girls want to come over later they're going to bring some food um they want wine i'm i'm not drinking um, plus I'm still on these steroids and antibiotics, but they should be coming over later. So I'll probably vlog a little bit with them. Um, who knows? I don't know yet, but this has been my setup y'all. Make sure y'all check out my merch, humble and bougie, ambitious black king, ambitious black man. I am she. Make sure y'all support. And if you ain't subscribed yet, why you ain't subscribed yet? Let me know. Let me know what's up. Like, you still trying to fill me out? You still trying to check me out? Like, what's up? Let me know. Yes, I'm a small, growing, mega YouTuber who loves Jesus, who is hood and holy. So, yeah. You gonna get a little bit of Jesus. You gonna get a whole lot of Jesus, honestly. <clears throat> But you also going to get a balanced minister of the gospel. Okay. Y'all. But. <clears throat> I love y'all. See y'all later. This is how your friends bombard you. What's up, babe? She's enjoying her wine. As I enjoy my berry punch or ice. She vibing, y'all. Wait to the rescue here. Say hello. Tell him, come on. I see the car out there. He with his friend. You got this friend? And this was sitting on me. What you doing, sis? Yeah. <laughs> Not these knees. I got broke knees. And this one over here. My knees.
The one with two kids. This one, I'm, look at this one. I love my friends. I, it ain't, it ain't for the move. My